And we are here teaching our people that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, we are the Israelites. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. We are, that's our true nationality. I know we've been told we was Mexican. But you gotta ask yourself, how do we become Mexican? Who told you you was Mexican? How did you hear about you was Mexican? Who told you that? I assume so, because you repping. How, how, how do we know, how, who told you you was Mexican? Your parents, and their parents, and their parents? You consider yourself Mexican too, Mexican too as well? Be. Might as well be, okay. So what happened? Because we read out the Bible. We know who we are based on what the Bible say. Because nowhere in the Bible you're not going to hear Mexican. You're not going to hear about Puerto Rican. So where, who are we? What happened to us? Okay? So let me show you something. We go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We're not all equal. We are, you're God's chosen. We are God's chosen. Get that, Romans, uh, no, Hebrews 7, 7 and 6. Come on, watch this. I want you to, Jesus, listen to that. He said we all God, right? We all God's chosen. We all equal. Watch this. Deuteronomy this chapter 7 and right verse 6. Read. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. For thou art what? Holy people unto the Lord thy God. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans who are the Israelites today, we are what? Holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. No, he chose everybody. Has chosen thee. No, we all the same. Has chosen thee. Come on. To be a special people unto himself. Uh-huh. Above all people. No, equal to all people. Above all yeah. people. No, we're the same as all people. Above all people. Well, the Bible say we are what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So everybody that's on this planet of earth, we are above everybody. That's right. right. But do our oppression, but do our sins, and not keeping the commandments, knowing who we are, not worshiping the most high God the way he say, we lost that. We lost our nationality. Jeremiah 17 and 4. That's why the brother said we all equal, because he's been destroyed. Look at this stuff right here. All this atrocities have been brought upon our people. The conquistadors. They came over here in 1492 on up. 1505. They brought the conquistadores. They brought the conquerors. And what they do, they conquered us and gave us the cross. Watch this sound right here. Look at this. Oh, Check this out, Jesus. Look at this uh, Jesuit priest. Can you see it? And look at our brother right there being burned to the stake. That was the choice he made. Either accept this image of the cross or die. This brother, he chose to die. To the, this, then he rather die than accept that false image. And that's what been pushing our people today. And that's why the, that's the result of that brother saying that we all want equal. It was beating in us. It was indebted of us. We were tough to hate ourselves. Read that Jeremiah 17 and 4. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, this, Jesus. shall this discontinue from thy heritage. Read it one more time. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. It said we will discontinue from our heritage, which is the Bible, which is the laws and commandments. And what was going to happen after that? Come on. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. Cause thee to serve thy what? Enemies. Because so do a friend do this? As you walk, think about it. Would a friend do that? To our people? No. If they're not our friend, they're our enemies. You got Mary on the shirt. Think about that. You got that flyer, bro? Alright, we go read it one time, we're gonna go back to marriage. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee, that I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So the Lord says, since we didn't want to keep the commandments. He was going to make us serve our enemies. All right. Hold that. Get to me that in uh, Sirach. Is that 17 and um, 11? What was our heritage? You know what I'm talking about? 17 11. Yo, 17, 11. 17 11. What's our heritage? You so-called Hispanics and Native Americans and blacks. What is our true heritage? Read. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. He gave them what? The law of life. For inheritance. So the laws, statutes, commandments that's written in this Bible, this is our heritage. Right. This is our way of life. So go back to Jeremiah 17 and 4. We're going to deal with marriage some more. Because marriage is part of our heritage. Being married. Husband and wife. Man and woman. Not man and man. Not woman and woman. Man and wife. Read that. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue. From thy heritage. We will be discontinued. We will stop keeping the commandments. And what was going to happen after that? Read. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. To serve thy what? Enemies. Come on. In the land which thou knowest not. 
for you have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So we made God angry when we forsook the commandments. So again, what are some of the commandments? Let's go back to marriage. Hebrews 13 and 4. Book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is what? Honorable in all. A man and wife coming together, that's honorable. It's nothing wrong with getting married. But what happened? We forgot about that. We think boyfriend and girlfriend is okay. No. Right. Marriage is honorable, sister. Did you know marriage is honorable, sister? Did y'all know marriage is honorable? Marriage is honorable. As y'all walk and keep listening, we're bringing out the Bible. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is a good thing. Read. In the bed under file. Uh-huh. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Adulterers and whoremongers, God will judge. What is an adulterer? Adulterer is one who steps outside the realm of marriage. Who's married, but they cheating. Infidelity issues. What's a whoremonger? A whoremonger is one that has sexual relations, but they're not married. Right. Ask yourself, how many boyfriends and girlfriends have you had your whole life? Could you keep count? Have you been keeping count? I don't think so. I highly doubt it. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to the curses. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that's the reason why we are at the bottom of society. I know we're a little village. I know we might have a whole community. But God said the word is, the word is for you. Right. The God created the earth for our sakes. That's this whole right. planet is for you, not just a little village. That's right. Not just Pilsen. He gave us the whole earth. But what happened? We didn't keep the commandments of God. So now we're subject to all the curses we're in it. So let's go through some laws. Remember, he said adultery. He said marriage is honorable. But he's going to judge the adulterers. He's going to judge the whoremongers. Let's go to some sex laws. Let's go to Leviticus 18. Let's go to some realms and levels of adultery. Let's go to some levels of fornication. Because there's different levels of fornication. You got it? Read Leviticus 18 and 1. Let's start there. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Unto the who? Children of Israel. Because you so-called blacks, Hispanics. You are the Israelites. That's right. This Bible is for you. So when Moses says, speak unto the children of Israel, the word of God is talking to you on this day on 26 in Kenzie. Right. So will you listen? Will you bring to remembrance that you are the sons and daughters of God? Will you bring it to remembrance that you are the Israelites? That you're not Mexican. You're not Hispanic. You're more than that. You're a holy nation. Set above everybody on the planet. Right. But through oppression... And through religion, we've been taught that we've been equal. But how's that working for us today? Whose children are getting snatched out on the border? Who's out there picking the coca plant, making the cocaine, bringing it back in our communities? And now we're drug addicts. Who's number one in alcoholism? Who's number one in suicide? But yeah, we're equal. How so? Bring it out. That's foolishness. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwell, ye shall not do. Right, this is modern day Egypt to this day, America. Because the same thing that happened to us in ancient Egypt happened to us today. We've been enslaved, we've been conquered. And we're still serving our enemies to this day. Read on. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, what I bring you, ye shall not do, neither shall you walk in their ordinance. Ye shall do my judgments, and keep my ordinance, and walk therein. Oh, you got, we can deal with us. You got a minute? I am the Lord your God. Uh -huh. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and uh -huh. my judgments. Remember, we, we are in this low state today because we didn't keep the commandments. Let's bring out the laws. What was commanded to us when we came out of oppression? Because guess what? We're going to come out of this oppression today. The king is coming back. 
your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to come and deliver his people only. Because we are the Israelites. But what? What happened to us that we fail? Read on. Verse 6. Uh -huh. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. See that? That's incest. Believe it or not, that's a, a quiet kept secret that's going on among our people. But it's written in the Bible. Obviously, we was doing it. Having sex with our cousin, our sister, our mother. These are things that we were doing and still doing to this day. But it's on the hush-hush. But we're going to bring it out because that's what's written in it. Right. Read up. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother shalt thou not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. And how can we bring this into effect today? You know, our children get molested by their own mother, by their own father, right? by their uncle. Everybody got their uncle, but it's a quiet kept secret, though. Don't nobody want to talk about that. But how else are we going to be healed as a people? How else? We need to bring out the laws. We are here to bring out the medicine. So if you're doing that, you must stop that. These are levels to a fornication. These are levels to adultery right here. Right. That's the reason why some of us think that the black man and the Hispanic man is not one nation. Right. When in fact, we are one people. That's right. We are one people. Going through the same thing. By the same enemy. We got the same enemy. But when you listen. Leviticus 19 and 29. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse Don't be 29. So, so, well, you can walk this way. You can walk this way. Come on, man. Come on. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. I got a question. You, want, you got time for the word of God? We bring out the word of God. You, got, you love God, don't you, sister? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's, why I'm still, that's, still, that's still what I'm talking about. Everybody got love for God, but when the words of God come out, nobody want to listen. But that's okay. We love our people. It takes true, genuine love to come out here and teach the word of God to our people. We're not in no church. We're not asking for your money. We want you to repent. Hold that. So now we got to repent. As you walk and listen. Listen to the words of God. I know, but listen. listen. Acts, we don't want a thumbs up. We want you to listen. We don't want a high five. We want you to listen and repent. Teach. Read. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Come on. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. That your what? Sins may be blotted out. Come on. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Read it from the top. Repent ye therefore. It says repent therefore. And how do you repent? What's the steps to repentance? What are the steps to repentance? Read. And be converted. The steps to repentance is to be converted, to be changed. You have to change up here. The change starts with here, sister. The change to first and foremost starts there knowing your nationality. Knowing that you're not Mexican. You are an Israelite. Read on. That your sins may be blotted out. And once you change your way of thinking and start to apply the things that you know, start to apply the knowledge that's been taught to you, that your sins will be blotted out. Read. When a time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. What is that refreshing? That refreshing is thermonuclear warfare. Right. World War III is coming. Guess what? Little village ain't going to be standing here forever. Pilsen down the street ain't going to be here forever. Chicago's not going to stand forever. America's not going to stand forever. It's not going to last forever. But we're going to keep teaching our people. We have to repent. Come out of those lascivious lifestyles. Stop being a homosexual. Stop molesting our children. Come to who you are according to the Bible. We're going to continue to teach. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.